students from now onwards we will also be learning about computer applications like some different different softwares basically ms office so we will start with ms word the word processing software so let's jump into the video to the summer of love. Welcome students to the first practical session of MS Word. Through this video series, we all will be learning about practically how to handle this word processor. Now first, uh, word processor, uh, let me tell you about something. Uh, word processor are those applications which helps you to create documents. Documents like uh, any letter, any story, anything. Anything you use for writing purpose, we use this document processor. And MS Word is one of the popular. Now in my laptop, I'm having MS Word very old version 2007. Nowadays, so it's 2013, 17, even 19 also has been released. But the basic things are common for all applications. So I hope if you are having uh, 2007 it's absolutely fine if you have in 2010 then also the uh, tabs and the commands will be the same only the main idea behind this is to teach you how to operate it so I hope previously you know how to open this particular uh, window I won't be going to that particular section let me just give you a little brief about this window uh, in this uh, this particular which you see at the top this is called title bar Yes, here we see the name of the window. Uh, by default, it's document one. Whenever you save a file, that name will appear. After you save it with any name, that name will appear over here. Let's come over here. This particular section is called Quick Access Toolbar. Quick Access Toolbar basically holds those uh, options which we quickly use or we frequently use. No, not quickly, frequently use. Like saving, uh, like uh, from here there are many options. We can add those options in the Quick Access Toolbar so that frequently we can use and go there and uh, we can use it and this is the office button in the office button we have a lot of option uh, this is the option to create a new file this is the option open is to create uh, open an existed file which is already saved there are many files which are saved I can open it through that save save as print and there are many options so let's come to this section this particular section is called ribbon it starts from here to here this particular section is called ribbon ribbon holds tabs and the options under those tabs each tab will be having different different options as you can see each tab will be having different different options now let's start from home tab and you can see in each tab there is an option are grouped into something you can see they are grouped into something so these groups are they are called groups like clipboard group fund group paragraph group styles group and editing group in the same way in the insert tab we will see pages group tables group illustration group links group header and footer and so on so whenever i say tab it will be like that when i whenever i say group please mention these things okay or follow these things so this is the working area this is the working area these are the margins uh, by default one inches from all four sides has been uh, kept separated so that we can write into the center section so this um, you can see this is the um, document window where we write everything okay and this blinking bar is called cursor you, do you see this one this blinking this is called cursor even I am also moving cursor both are same now here too we can write anything if I start writing this hello students I am starting from very basic okay if you know about this all very good just revise it I am starting from very basic now this particular says thing I have written it's looking very small it's, uh, it's uh, like you don't like it if you want to change it there are many options to do that but before that uh, let's go and let's come down here I told about these all thing let's come down here this is the scroll button this is a scroll button to see the entire page uh, at once so we cannot say uh, see it we can see it but it will be very much difficult how to see it I'll show you just next this is the status bar where you can see how many pages we have used how many words we have written see we I have written only two words it will count the words and this is uh, thesaurus and grammar section where you if there is any mistake it will show you the mistakes and all these are the views these are the one two three four five five views of this particular window this is print layout view by default is print layout view only and this is full screen reading view you can uh, see it in a full screen then close it 
and this is web layout view it looks like that then we have a outline view and this is draft view so basically everybody writes in the print layout view only it looks better and as I just before that I told you know we can see the entire page at once so this is zoom in zoom out and zoom in uh, button if you click it it is zooming in as you can see in the window isn't it and if you click the minus button it will zoom out and even you can drag and drop like this see the entire page I can see at once but if I see the entire page the words are very small so it will be very much difficult for you to read and write now let's come to because by default stays in hundred percent so let's come to the document window here I have written something if you want to change something we go to home tabs fund group fund means this entire thing the uh, writing style the writing color the writing pattern everything can be managed over here so uh, today we will talk about little bit fun uh, home tab will uh, cover up today home tab and one by one gradually we'll be covering other tabs as well so in home tab this particular option is called font if you click it there are many fonts which is coming down as you can see uh, let me do one thing let me just take it to the left side corner now if I select it see you need to understand whatever changes you do in a document whatever changes you do in a document that is called editing and for editing purpose you have to select the content now if I want to select it see it is not now selected I am pressing the left mouse button and dragging the mouse see around that particular those words there's a blue highlighted screen and that is that means that it has been selected if I click anywhere it, 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 it will be gone again I'm pressing and holding the left mouse button and I'm selecting it I hope you have got it so whatever you do you need to first select the text I have selected the text let's go to these options these options will change the style as you can see it's changing the style but before that let me increase the size so that you would understand it better so I have increased the size now I will change its style see different different styles it's coming so by this way you all can manage your text now, I have seen students just wasting their time over and over again no this is not good no this is not good this is good and again increase the size and all don't do that it won't only waste the time now from here there are many uh, fund on uh, the bold option you can make it bold you can make it italic see it a little bit slanted see the text it's little slanted you can make it underlined okay like that you strike through some words you don't like it you strike through it okay and then we have a color we can change color see the color is changing I hope you have understood this and these capital and small a will use to increase and decrease the fund this is to decrease the fund see it is decreasing now this is I'm clicking it is increasing okay so let's come to the point again this for selection now uh, let me take something some dummy text to dummy uh, to take some dummy text uh, we can do one thing let me first decrease the size uh, for dummy text just write equal to R A N D and open bracket and close bracket and press enter see so many dummy text has come now see uh, let me do one thing just reduce its size a little bit now what I did from the keyboard I pressed control and A if when I press control with the key A it will select the entire text see control and A it has been selected like that so this goes how to select text by using keyboard there are many more options let us first complete how to select the text with the mouse over the mouse if you want to select one word we will select word we will select a line we will select a paragraph now if you want to select a word any word suppose I want to select this word insert I will hover my mouse whatever mouse your mouse is here I will hover my uh, your sorry mouse not mouse your this um, blinking line this cursor is here so I will hover my mouse to this particular word and I will double click see the word has been selected do you see the uh, blue highlighted uh, lines over here yes it is selected now if you want to select the entire line entire line not sentence I'm talking about a line first line second line third line fourth line fifth line and sixth line so if you want to select a line see our cursor how it is changing now it is looking like an eye now it is looking like an arrow so I will be taking my cursor to the leftmost corner of that particular line and just I will see when it will become from eye to arrow see it is becoming eye to arrow just click once the entire 
a line has been selected again I'll show you over here I'll bring my cursor to the extreme left corner of that particular line when the cursor will become an arrow I will click once the entire line is selected now this goes uh, how to select a line now if you want to select the entire paragraph how will you do you can do the simple thing press the hold mouse button over here and press and drag it over here like that or you can triple click it one two three see one two three so triple click it the entire paragraph will be selected so this is the way to selecting anything through mouse okay now let's do one more thing some alignment options so let me delete something let me delete these documents so let me work with that only now let's come to from front uh, group to let's come to paragraph group these used to manage the text now by default by default all whenever we also start writing we start fr uh, right from the left towards the right here also see how would you understand that this particular option is selected see over here then orange border is here over here some orange border is here that means these options are selected now if you want to do any changes again I told you first select it how to select a paragraph triple click it selected now if you want to change it just click it see now the orange sign has uh, removed from here it has come here because I have selected this this is center alignment this is right side alignment and this is justify alignment uh, alignments are what it's the place where the text will be it is a space where the text will be placed okay if you click on the left alignment it will take you to the left and the right side there won't be any alignment if you click on the center it will be in the center but from both left and right there won't be an alignment if you click the right alignment from right it will all be same but from left it will not be same but in justify it looks absolutely great so whatever whenever I create a document I always keep it in a justify alignment so that from both the sides it looks the same in a newspaper uh, also you have seen to manage some space they spread the letters okay to manage that particular space in a justify alignment now if I come down from here we can see bullets and numberings bullets are used to create an order list numberings are used to create order list an order list uh, let's say uh, things to buy from market now it can be sorry it should be buy it can be anything you know? so I will just click it I will like uh, write um, soap vegetables fruits water and so on so I can just write it in an unordered way but instead of that if I write steps to start a computer what will you do will you can we can I write arbitrarily randomly no I cannot write that so in that point what I will do I will change the um, I will delete it and I will use numberings like first step switch the main power on then switch on the UPS then switch on the CPU then switch on the monitor isn't it that is great now you understood how I have written all this for it's a uh, what do I say it's a um, ordered list now it has gone little to the center and not to the left so what can I do just click it and from these options that increase or decrease indent from the decrease indent if you click it say it is going according to your space now sir you have done mistakes how can you tell me that I have done mistakes those wavy lines which has come these uh, red wavy lines means spelling mistakes and these means grammatical mistakes so here also I have made some mistake but it doesn't come like that so if you see some red wavy lines that means there are some spelling mistake so right click on it and it will show you the correct answer so it will show you the correct answer CPU is the correct answer but monitor it's like that 
the first letter uh, of a sentence should be capital that's why they are showing it then C full stop P full stop U or central processing you know, I have to write like that I hope you have understood red wavy lines comes when there is a uh, spelling mistake and green wavy line comes when there is a grammatical mistake now you can highlight some text sometimes what happens to oh, we, we are creating a document some important points need to be highlighted so first select the point select the text and this is the highlighted text highlighter you can choose and see it has been highlighted understood now we use some shadings also in this entire paragraph I want to use some shadings so I will select the entire paragraph and I will give some shading see at the back do you see the shadings see I'm using some shadings just like that so in uh, this particular um, <coughs> section uh, we have only one thing left in the clipboard section that is cut copy and paste cut copy and paste these are the options which are used um, in everywhere which is used almost everywhere where these three options are helped to reduce our effort how how I'm telling you if I want to write the same thing again what will I do I will copy it and I will paste it when I want to make some duplicates suppose I want to make the duplicate of this particular text so what will I do let me do one thing let me redu uh, just remove its uh, shading and remove its this shading as well now I am selecting this particular paragraph selected and I what will I do I will click on this option copy that means a duplicate has been made but kahan pe sir dikhai to nahi de ra. yes what can you do you go to the end go to the end wherever you want I want it to be here the duplicate one and then I will click on paste and see automatically it has taken number five but I can remove it from here see the same thing again same thing again this is called copy now if we want to see what is called cut cut means it will move the entire text from one location to another location copy is used to make a duplicate of the text but in the new location but cut will uh, remove the text from its original location and will and will paste it to the new location let me see it how I just did undo control Z control Z this one is called undo button so it will keep on undoing whatever the things I just did see it is doing undo okay so I will again select it I will now click on cut see it has gone now I will come here and I will right click or from here you can paste by right click also you can see those options after you select it I am selecting it right click on it see cut copy paste same thing same thing over here so that's all for today or uh, in the next uh, session I will be covering up insert then page layout and many more things I hope you have liked this session like this video write in the comment section what are the things you liked the most and what are the things you want to learn in MS Word I will surely help you if you're new to this channel please subscribe the channel and active the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video you get notified thank you